Hello, everybody, and welcome to episode 13 of Worth the Wait. Here I am with your, my ever-capable co-host, Just Okay Caters, very capable co-host. I can barely function. <laughs> We're going to trim down our games with two picks this week. Uh, we think it'll give us more time to talk about the games. So without further ado, let's do just that. Warp 1, engage! All right, Wally, my second round pick this week is The Way by Playway Studios. And before we even get in, into anything... Go and vote for this game on Greenlight. It's it's like a, a platformer with puzzles in space, and you're sort of investigating or searching for a way to reverse death. And we see a lot of, of kind of retro pixel art games right now, but look at how gorgeous and detailed these backgrounds are. That is really pretty. And, and uh, it really reminds me well of uh, Flashback is the game I'm thinking of too when I think of this as well. Exactly. Wow. This game is inspired by Flashback. It's inspired by, by like Heart of Darkness and Another World. You're going to be on this, this weird alien planet with all of this, this intrigue. It, it's going to be interesting to say the least. Oh, support him on Kickstarter. Vote for him like Kate said and hopefully we'll see him at the other end of the tunnel. Okay, my uh, number two for this week is Orthodoxy, the role-playing game. It involves uh, re religious leaders uh, in a kind of a Christian Romanesque city, although the setting can be anywhere, where they're coming together to basically save the, the city from chaos by reforming the government under a treatise. And each player represents a religious sect that has their own agenda to inject themselves into the treaty. Yes, this is all role-playing. So you have to control, influence, debate, and uh, trick and even murder people in, the, in trying to get your agenda as the primary drive of society as the city rebuilds itself. I feel like for this game to work, it would have to be played by a bunch of nerdy assholes. Yeah, yeah. It actually sounds like something that could be pretty interesting. Wally. Yes. This, this is the first. <laughs> this is my first game, and it's Witch March by Inglenook Studios. Are was you gonna start the video? Yeah, sure. I, I, was, I was kind of frozen by your enthusiasm. <laughs> I didn't. I don't know where to go with that. No, this game looks amazing. It's like set in the Roaring Twenties, and it's got this awesome jazz soundtrack. One, okay. First of all, it's an RPG. Okay. Which, that's really cool. And second of all, it's like detectives. That's really cool. Cool. Then you've got this, like, awesome jazz music on top of that. That's really cool. So it's I like... think this game is really cool. <laughs> There's, like, so many weapons that you can get. There's so many spells that you can cast. What I love about this game is the, the character art. Remember how in The Way I was talking about the backgrounds being awesome? Yeah. These characters are, are awesome. The way that they move is, like, really quirky. It's, everyone has so much personality, it's just, this is a way cool game. Okay, my number one pick I actually tweeted about, about a week ago, and it was basically, this is the game for people who make explosion noises and do things with their hands in space battles. Uh, you know, like, <laughs> someone was watching Battlestar Galactica's combat sequences in space and said, that needs a game. It's called Contact Vector. What makes this one different? Well, if, I don't know. Aside from its visual element, i never seen actually anyone do it so succinctly outside of um, a mod that someone did for free space. And I just love giant batteries of missiles firing shit back and forth between large military vessels in space. There are so many so many space games right now there that are nothing but management, farming for stuff. Yes. And then being able to fight. But this game, it's more about what are you gonna do with the stuff that you got? It's definitely a battle simulator. Yes. That's cool. <laughs> okay, so I enjoyed this episode. I hope that everyone else did. And hey, if you did, go ahead and follow us on Facebook and YouTube.com slash JustOKGamers. And of course, check out JustOKGamers.com for even goofier content than this. Yes, even goofier. But we, I, we took the happy pills today, and I like we it. We really did. All right, and so if you like our happy pills, go ahead and follow us on Twitter at JustOKWally okay and JustOKCaters. Okay Bye. Bye.